today is our graduation ceremony and um, we have four people that are graduating and you know you're getting old when I had their parents in Children's Church <laughs> so I had them and their parents in Children's Church uh, the first one uh, is not here today she had to work so I'm gonna ask Melanie if you can come up and get Tori's Tori uh, Waters parents Andy and Melanie Waters grandparents Bill and Pat Eggers she went to William Blount High School she played volleyball while in high school, and she will attend Pellissippi State in the fall. She would like to become a physical therapist in the future. All right, let's give Tori a hand for graduating. Oh, Melanie. Melanie, here's this. I'm saving stamps by giving mine too. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one, I'm very proud of this young man. Um, Melanie, you can stay up here, I guess, since come up here with your son uh, Tyler Scott Johnson parents Andy and Melanie Waters grandparents Bill and Pat Eggers and just come on up here Tyler um, he went to Austin P State University in Clarksville Tennessee Tyler received a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice with a minor in military science he received a three and a half year scholarship um, at his school for the military. He earned his air assault badge his sophomore year. On Friday, May the 3rd, Tyler was sworn into the US Army as a second lieutenant. He will serve as an active duty medical services officer in the 101st Airborne Division Air Assault of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Congratulations, Tyler. From our church that's just stay right here we got we're gonna have everybody stay up okay and I thought Kristen did a great job on these insert bulletins today too the next person Chloe Leanne Merle did I pronounce that correctly all right Chloe Leanne Merle parents Robbie and Tracy Payne and Rob Merle grandparents Charles and Barbara Merle and the late James Han jr. and Debbie Thomas and also Patsy and the late Terry Payne she went to Heritage High School and her future plans uh, going to TCAT for beauty school. So I have someone that can take care of me forever. <laughs> Congratulations, Chloe, from our church. Thank you. Oh, Nathan. Good thing Donnie's not up here. Nathaniel Jerry Hallman, parents Royce and Katina Hallman, grandparents Jay and Carol Hallman school heritage high school his future plans is to attend college at Pellissippi or TCAT and TCAT is a skill school where you learn skills um, what skill do you think you might want to do you don't know yet HVAC, HVAC. we need that we need that um, and you know that's free for a church right we have problems <laughs> Nathan and Donnie have a running joke um, Earl he's a Chevy guy He's a Chevy guy, okay, and his family, right? Chevy guys, and Donnie's a Ford guy. It's always a running joke, right? I'm not going to get into that either. <laughs> We're proud of you, Nathan, and proud of you coming to our church. Thank you. Man. And now Charles, our pastor, will come up and say a few words. First of all, let me congratulate you on the service to our church country. I appreciate that. I've got a granddaughter that's married to a major up in Johnson. Uh, I can't think of this. It's not always Virginia. But anyway, God bless you. I'm proud of you. All right. And you're, this one, uh, Miss Chloe. Well, I'm proud of you too, young lady. And I hope that you go ahead and find what you want to do. And then always, let me say it to all of you. I'm going to say that just a moment, but always put God first in your life. Both of you. Okay. Nate, God bless you, buddy, and we are proud of you, and I don't know exactly what you're going to be doing, but always remember that the most important person in your life is God, okay, Amen. just like that. And I'm going to read this plan out to, you, to all three of you guys, and it's in, the, it's in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 20 and number 11, for I know the plans I have for you. Now, I know the military has got plans for you and the beauty school and wherever you go. They've got plans for you guys, but Jesus has plans for you too. And I know that my uh, granddaughter's 
husband is a very dedicated Christian, and you can live right in the military. You can live right at wherever you guys be. You can live right anywhere. So God's got plans for you all. I have for you declared the Lord. He loves you guys, and you guys love him, I'm sure. And it says plans to prosper you and not to harm you. God will not harm you. There's people will harm you, but God will not harm you. And hope and a future. You're just going to be passing through here but you're gonna live forever in eternity. And the most important decision is to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. And you guys have done that. And that is the most important thing. At the end of life, at the end of life, God's gonna take you into eternity. And there you live with him ever and ever and ever. And it'll be glorious. Our little finite minds cannot grasp how great heaven will be. But may God bless you, okay? All three of you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for these three young people. And I know that you know their hearts. And God, I know you've got plans for them. Father, and I pray that they would be sensitive to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And they would be receptive to God, your plans. And you take care of them, Father, because, Lord, this is a very evil, evil culture. And God, I pray you protect them wherever they go. And Father, we just pray for Tyler, especially in the military. And Father, there's a lot of mean people out there. And God, they're even mean in our cities. They're mean everywhere. But Jesus, you put your arms of protection around them. And thank you, God, for them today. We praise you for their lives. And God, we just want to praise you for all you do for us and what they will do for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you. And if all the parents and grandparents could stand up, let's give them a hand. You've got them through, guys. You've got them through. <laughs> let's give you guys a hand. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Continue to pray for these young people. I never did get one of them diplomas. And I never could figure out why. And so somebody told me one day, if you don't get out of the third grade, you don't get nothing like that. So, so I never did get one. But anyhow, let's all stand if the ushers will come forward at this.